The chapter in this module discusses how information systems are used within organizations. The focus is primarily larger organizations, but some of what uh, the chapter discusses will apply to small businesses as well. This chapter covers three main ideas, transaction processing systems, functional area information systems, and enterprise resource planning systems, and we'll discuss all three of these as we continue. A transaction is any business event that generates data that needs to be stored in a database. This might include a product being manufactured, a student enrolling in a class, a service sold, a person hired, a payroll check generated, an order for an inventory placed, and many other day-to-day -day activities that any business or organization will have. A transaction processing system collects, stores, monitors, and processes that data from all the organization's basic business transactions. In larger organizations, business activities will be separated into different functional areas, but even in small businesses, there are different functions that the business has to perform. Information systems that su support a specific functional area are called functional area applications. And some examples, as you see on this slide, might include accounting, marketing, human resources, operations management, and CRM, which is customer relationship management. Some of the specific tasks or transactions that an accounting functional application would handle might include financial planning and budgeting, managing financial transactions including uh, ledgers, accounts receivable, accounts payable, investment management, and of course control and auditing. A functional application designed for operations management would track transactions related to logistics and supply chain management, inventory control, quality control, planning production and operations, computer integrated manufacturing, and product life cycle management. A human resources functional application might include tracking recruitment, which includes advertising, uh, finding potential employees, evaluating them, and deciding which ones to hire. Human resources development, tracking training and certifications, and human resources planning and management, uh, making sure that we have enough people to, uh, to produce the needed products and services. Separate functional applications do not share data with one another usually, and that creates a problem not only in large businesses but also small businesses as well. And we refer to that as information silos, when information is stored one place and it's not shared in another. And of course, the problems with this are numerous. Um, if you have, for instance, uh, the same type of data customers in maybe uh, both the accounting and uh, the customer relationship management system and if a customer's address changes it might get updated one place but not another and so again information silos can create large problems for businesses. A solution for information silos is called Enterprise Resource Planning Systems or ERP and they provide a common data storage that all of the functional applications would connect to. And Because of their cost and complexity ERPs are usually for larger businesses and organizations. There's some big players in the uh, enterprise resource planning systems market and uh, those include some of the top vendors include Oracle, SAP, Microsoft, and Epicor. And again these are very expensive and very complex systems but as you might gather it would save the company lots and lots of money and headaches down the road to be able to share one data source between all the functional applications.